hello everyone welcome to part 165 of laravel 9 and 10 tutorial and uh, we will continue working on the multi vendor e-commerce website and in this video we are going to start working on the advanced shipping charges module okay so this is the products weight wise shipping charges uh, we are going to calculate the shipping charges product wise okay product weight wise so we are going to add the weight for all the products and according to the weight we are going to calculate the shipping charges uh, see this thing i have already explained uh, when we start uh, with the shipping module okay so this is the uh, product wise shipping charges like you are seeing in uh, this green font you can see like one product is having 200 gram and second product is having 300 gram then total weight is 500 gram then we will uh, check the uh, according to the weight of that country like uh, 500 gram uh, in that particular country how much price uh, the shipping uh, the courier partner will charge and that maybe 200 INR then that 200 INR we are going to add in the total amount okay so we are going to calculate in this way this is the way of calculating the uh, shipping charges weight wise okay so uh, I am going to explain you further uh, <coughs> see I am going to add one product See right now is the uh, is the country wise so far in the simple shipping module we have added the shipping charges for the country irrespective of their weight okay so even if it is one product even if it is two product it does not matter right now okay so you just need to add the product okay and after adding the product uh, we will go to the car and then we will go to the checkout and after checkout according to the country uh, like uh, this does not have any delivery address i'm going to add the delivery address here okay so according to that address our shipping charges will get calculated okay i'm going to add the india here okay so here uh, we have added the country okay india so i'm going to select the india and here you can see the rupees 100 added and that is just it is checking the India country as the India even if you will add the quantity increase the quantity uh, by two three four five or you can add the multiple products here but the shipping charges will remain the same because it's not the product weight wise it's not the weight wise shipping charges okay but weight wise shipping charges is better and more practical so weight wise shipping charges is used by most of the e-commerce websites and that we need to integrate okay so that's why we are going to uh, start working on the advanced shipping module in which we will cover the weight wise shipping charges that most of the time uh, is good enough uh, for any small business okay if you are going to manage manually uh, like uh, you are going to deliver your products of your own you are not going to uh, uh, see uh, no, not going to hire any third party okay uh, then it's really good for you like you can simply manage it like this okay you can manage from the admin panel complete shipping modules you can manage from the admin panel you will get the rates from the current company and can uh, add of your own okay so let's start so here you can see the shipping charges table that we have made so far we have just the single rate we don't have any weight column here like uh, 0 to 100 gram or 0 to 500 gram 500 to 1000 gram that does not have in the shipping uh, in simple uh, module we don't have that thing whatever the country is like for afghanistan even the product is one even the product is 10 uh, means product quantity is 10 it does not matter see for afghanistan 500 rupees rate but practically it's wrong so we are going to remove this column we are going to drop the red column and we'll add the weight wise columns uh, like we are going to add uh, 0 to 500 gram column 501 to 1000 gram column in that we are going to add the rates okay so we are going to do that thing right now and i am going to use the migration to drop this red column and we'll add the new columns okay so uh, i will uh, start first of all uh, we'll uh, create the migration file i will go to my folder new terminal here php artisan 
make migration so i will create the file like drop column i want to drop column from shipping charges table shipping charges table okay so it will create that file i am going to open this file here drop column from shipping charges table here i am going to drop that particular column rate column i want to drop okay i will simply drop it like this drop column okay it's the syntax for dropping and here my column name will come drop column okay so i will simply uh, run that php addition migrate command so that my column will get dropped php addition migrate and here you can see it run fine now i am going to check the structure once again and you can see the red column is gone away okay so now we are going to add new columns so once again i am going to run the migration file php artisan make migration and here we are going to add add columns to shipping charges table to add columns to shipping underscore charges underscore table okay so it has been created uh, we will check here add columns to shipping charges table okay shipping charges fine so here we are going to add the new columns like uh, we are going to add here the float value okay uh, float value uh, the first column we are going to add here 0 to 500 gram rate okay yeah, it's all the rate column okay 0 to 500 gram after country we are going to add it after country okay and now uh, one more here we are going to add here 501 uh, to 1000 gram okay and this one we are going to add it after 0 to 500 gram like this we will add other columns as well and after that we are going to add uh, 1001 uh, 1001 to 2000 gram and that we are going to add after this one uh, and this one after this one and here we will add 2001 to we will make it like 5000 gram and uh, after that uh, we are going to add here uh, above 5000 okay above 5000 gram okay like this so maybe uh, the client will not accept more orders so we can add the condition also like that much order is not acceptable like in india you can order for maximum 1 lakh rupees of order uh, above 1 lakh you can't uh, make any kind of transaction okay so there is limit in every country uh, so you can set that limit also okay so now i'm going to uh, run the php artisan migrate command once again so that my table gets updated and let's check see new columns added 0 to 500 gram 501 to 1000 gram and 1001 to 2000 gram 2001 to 500 gram and above 5000 gram okay so uh, we can check the zero value is entered for all the columns okay so now uh, uh, we are going to uh, check here here it will not work it will uh, show the error because we don't have the rate column now we need to update these files okay so i'm going to close this file and we'll up, uh, open here uh, this file shipping charges we are going to modify this file now it is having the new rate columns okay rate now uh, is like uh, zero gram to five 100 gram rate okay rate for like uh, uh, 0 gram to 500 gram okay how much rate it is okay like this we are going to add the rate for other also 2 3 4 5 okay after that 501 gram to 1000 gram 1001 gram to 2000 gram 2001 gram to 
5000 gram and above 5000 gram okay here we will write above 5000 gram like this okay so now here also we are going to modify we will add all the columns here also Three, four, five. okay we can check here once again and copy all these columns 0 to 500 gram 501 to 1000 gram and 1001 to 2000 gram Two thousand one to five thousand gram, and above five thousand gram. Okay, so uh, we will check here. Okay, so now you can see uh, it's fine now. Okay, you can able to see like uh, we have now all the columns all the red columns like for 0 to 500 gram 501 gram to 1000 grams like this okay so uh, we will also update the edit shipping charges this file this will have not only one column it will have the multiple column for all the column for adding the weight by shipping charges okay so we are going to modify this file as well edit shipping charges okay so uh, instead of this rate uh, we are going to have the multiple rate okay so here we are going to modify like this like uh, 0 to 500 gram like this okay and uh, for this column also like uh, I'm going to select this one and for this column uh, we are going to update it to once again we are going to update it to 0 to 500 gram okay and here also 0 to 500 gram and uh, shipping rate the rest is fine okay so it will look like uh, this okay rate 0 to 500 gram okay like this we are going to add other also 1 2 3 4 okay so next one is uh, I'm going to pick from here 501 to 1000 gram. 1000 gram. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So here also I'm going to make it 501 to 1000 gram, like this. Okay. And now after this, 1001 to 2000 gram. Here also we are going to update like this okay so after this 2001 to 5000 gram okay so we are going to add here like and the last one above 5000 gram Okay, so we are going to add this like this okay here we are going to add like this. let's see now okay so I am going to update the prices like uh, any prices we can update here and we're going to submit here and we'll check uh some issue has come oh, yeah we need to update here edit shipping charges uh function as well under shipping controller okay so now we don't have the rate column but in fact uh, we have the multiple column that we need to add here okay so all these column we need to add here that uh, we are updating there as well like this okay we are going to modify all the columns here one two three four okay like one updater the second one done now third one okay and fourth one and finally
Delhi fifth last one. Now we are going to check. Refresh, continue, and this time some issue has come. Okay, here we can see. Uh, here is the issue. Uh, like uh, it must not come here. It just come here. Okay. So this one is the issue we need to remove uh, this one okay mm, like this okay now I think it seems to be fine uh, okay so now we will try once again yeah this time it is working and you can see the prices have been updated okay and now we will go to the shipping charges and we'll update for the India as well okay. Uh, because we have already added the India as the country and I'm going to add the prices same prices for the India as well So that we can easily check after updating the weight for the products. Okay, so the prices have been updated Now I'm going to update the weight as well like for this product. I'm going to check red casual t-shirt medium uh, I'm going to check uh, this is the second product. Okay, and with the product ID 2 I'm going to check this one in products and with the uh, product id 2 i'm going to check whether it's having any weight okay so i'm going to search the weight column here it is product weight is having 200 so the shipping charges must be 100 uh, okay i'm going to check the shipping charges must be 100 but uh, still uh, we need to execute at the front end we need to correct at the front end as well uh, so in next video we are going to update the function at the front end and going to apply the weight by shipping charges okay right now we have updated at the front end only okay just add the weight for all the products and add the shipping charges weight by shipping charges for all the countries okay uh, like this one okay so add the weight by shipping charges for all the country and weight for all the products and after that we are going to apply at the front end okay so in the next video we are going to calculate shipping charges at front end weight by shipping charges and going to add that at the front end to the total amount okay so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye